Virgo, hello, beautiful souls. Thank you for joining me here and welcome to my table. So my friends, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, it's good to see you again. Thank you guys for your love and support as always. So I'm just going to dive into channeled messages. We do have a little bit to cover here. There were some Oracle cards pulled and then we'll move into tarot. So Virgo, the first thing that I was shown was it looked like a hammered piece of metal, some nondescript chunk, chunk of metal. And um, it morphed into an axe, like a double sided axe, kind of a, an old, old school double sided axe. Um, I don't know if there's a new school version of that. Anyway, so uh, what I felt that I was seeing was this process of being tempered. You being this metal, maybe you're feeling like you're being pounded out, um, barraged from every angle right now as far as forces around you. Uh, and you don't see what the finished product is here. Well, the finished product being a double-sided axe, I definitely feel that there is this... Um, Oh, how do I how do I put that? Your expectations being blown out of the water here, I guess. Um, the way that this turns out, the way that you turn out is greater than even you expected. There we go. Okay, thank you, Spirit. I don't know why that was so tricky. Tricky, tricky. <laughs> the next thing that I was shown were elevator buttons. And these buttons were not there. Like the outline of the buttons were there but the actual buttons to push were not there so the message i got from that is you're trying to take this elevator and this elevator i feel like is just light movement through life you're used to taking this elevator um in this situation well elevator it's not even that it's out of order but you can't even access the car because you can't call the car so there is a need to take the stairs here wherever it is that you're heading here you can still reach that place. You can still get to that point. You have to take a different route to get there. This may be a bit more strenuous. There may be a bit more effort that's required taking the stairs versus standing in uh, an elevator car. But this is giving you the same, well, not even the same. It, like I said, your expectations being blown out of the water here as far as a result. It's not because you're taking the stairs, but there is this benefit being gained of health that was coming through on that. I feel like it's a new skill, maybe, or tempering patience as well within yourself. So the next thing that came through was um, spicy, actually. I don't know if... Somebody is craving spicy foods or dealing with some issues with spicy foods. The next thing that came through was actually olivate. And that was an interesting one. I was a lot of questions with what came through here remaining. Um, so I'm interested to get into the tarot message too. Olivate is a, a product that's refined from olives. Uh, it's in a lot of personal care products as well. Olivate is a long chain fatty acid also. So if you're somebody, the reason why this is piquing my interest is because, uh, well, as somebody who deals with a lot of skin issues myself, I know spicy, like spicy foods can trigger things. Something like Olivate, although for most people, it is a very, it could be a very nourishing or moisturizing ingredient. If you have something like seborrheic dermatitis that you're dealing with, olivate is a longer chain fatty acid and actually feeds that yeast, which encourages that allergic reaction to continue going on. So I don't know if somebody's struggling with that. Um, the message that also came through with that olivate from olives was this process of being refined since that came through with the hammered metal to the ax as well. If you guys are in a place, and I would bet that you are, where you're feeling like maybe you don't, <clears throat> you've been looking for those elevator buttons, you know where you want to go, but getting there has just been this, you know, I don't, I don't know, maybe even you're feeling thwarted and doing certain things. As we're going through this process of having impurities taken away from our experience, being refined into our final product, that's not a comfortable experience. We may even be a experiencing that or seeing that as a form of loss something taken away from our experience in the form of an impurity 
is ultimately for our greater benefit and for the benefit of everyone else. But the process of having it being superheated, being hammered out, that's it's not comfortable, right? Right. So uh, let's keep going here. The next thing that I saw, and I'll show this to you because it's kind of hard to describe. This, uh, they're like two hash lines, like a Roman numerals two, I guess, moving into an X. So I'll show that to you there. What I saw were the two Roman numeral two would pop up and then it spun around a little bit and turns into that X. So depending on which angle you're viewing it from, it's either a Roman numeral two or it's an X, a 10. So two, 10, two to 10. I don't know if this is a two to 10 ratio. I don't know if this is a, a time to 10 or if this is a date. Feel free to let me know you guys how this resonates for you. I do love to see how this comes together for all of you. The next thing that I was shown was a triangle that had three overlapping lines. Uh, and I sat with that one for a while because I was not really pulling a message from it. But what came through, especially with the ax, something about being succinct, only taking three cuts to make what it is that you need, um, three things remaining that need to be removed or put together. Again, I'm not quite sure on these components, but I'm sure that this means something to somebody. So let's go ahead and get into the card messages here to go a little bit further. Spirit wanted to grab an archetype, wild unknown archetype card here. You guys got the box. The box, my Virgo in a box. So looking at everything that came through meditation, having the box come through, this is like our, our limitations. We may be placed in a box. We may be placing ourselves in a box, doing things that we are used to doing, restricting our own growth by not stepping out of this box. So coming back to meditation with that after pulling this and seeing the elevator, um, I do feel like you guys are being pushed to do something outside of your comfort zone. And this is for the very best, okay? This is for your growth, whatever this ax is that you're being developed into. Stepping outside of your box is what is providing this expectation um i wish i i'm gonna find every time i i do these readings it's like i have a different vernacular as i'm channeling as soon as i get done i'm like that's what i was trying to say but um having your expectations so what is that to succeed your expectations yeah i think that's real <laughs> your expectations being succeeded come from stepping outside of your comfort zone here outside of your box Okay, so Urban Crow Oracle is what Spirit wanted next. You guys got two cards here, Nature and Commitment. So I'm drawn to, with Nature here, this can symbolize a need to get into nature, to ground into nature, being a very solid earth sign, Virgo. I feel like this is an encouragement to touch base with your roots here, but it is also touching on... Uh, your nature, your true nature, okay? Not just the nature around us. So a need to connect with nature. But with the box coming through here, I do feel that there is a question being called in on what is your comfort zone and, and like what is your nature? Because we don't, we don't want to change things that are, you know, this is a part of who I am and which is, you know, I don't know who I am. That is also subjective even for the individual a personality is a personal reality it's developed our personalities are fabricated um like it or not <laughs> that's a component of the ego that is necessary for us to be able to communicate and connect with with one another okay so it's not something that needs to go away i'm just bringing that up as um well, even components of our personality, because there are a lot of people who will say that, well, that's just how I am or whatever. That kind of rigidity is what is you're being asked to step away from that or it's getting beaten, beaten out of you <laughs> with this tempering process. So some major shifts going on in what we think are unchangeable components to ourself. Hmm? I'm a Virgo rising Virgo moon, so I'm including myself here. With commitment, so this can be commitment to a relationship, um, 
to remember like a vow or promise, follow through on those sorts of things. I am also, this is feeling more like a commitment to the self though, as we're talking about nature in the box. Um, as I'm talking about personality there too, this is a commitment you've made to a certain experience, a certain component of your personality. It feels very much like there's an encouragement here to shift something. Something doesn't need to be a certain way and it is well within your ability to shift it. How do you shift components of your personality? Well, it starts with the thought. It starts with the way that we think about things. What we think about is what we talk about. What we talk about is what we do. What we do is what becomes a habit. Our habits move into our personality. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, tarot message. Well, actually, yeah, wild unknown animal oracle here for Virgo, please, spirit. Additional messages for Virgo. My fancy Virgo friends. So, eagle. Fire ant is kind of standing out here to me. Some of you may be dealing with some anger boiling up. Maybe this is what is asking to be shifted here. I mean, <laughs> I can relate to this process of being tempered right now too, and it don't feel good. Makes me a little bit angry, right? To have somebody constantly or a force constantly shaping me into something. But at the same time, each and every one of us asked for this experience. We asked to be tempered here. So um, allow yourself to be tempered. Eagle is what comes through. So this is a very potent form of air and fire energy. The eagle has a great scope above things. It's a very powerful energy. Eagle is connected to the divine, to spirit. Putting passion into what it is that you're speaking hmm. or thinking. I feel like, do you want another? Let's look in the book. Okay. Something about the balancing. I opened right to fire ant too. Aggression, rigid thinking. There we go. Rigid thinking. Yeah. So it very much feels like we're, we're breaking down some frameworks that have been created and it's not a, a bad thing that they've been created. It's just time for change. It's change time, you guys. All pervading power, truth seeker transforms karma. Step into the unknown. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're being thrust into the fires of karmic transformation back to the axe being tempered here, being hammered out. Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a sweaty situation here, Virgo. This isn't an easy process, but this, the outcome will exceed your expectations. There we go. That's, that's what I was trying to get together. Okay. Um, which tarot decks are we using here? Phantasma start. So Phantasma deck here to start for Virgo. Spirit, what do we have for Virgo? And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you for your love and support. Ten of Swords here at the bottom, or at the split to start. I do feel like you guys were moving away from somewhere where it was a complete loss. There was a lot of pain involved in something, and um, that was an opportunity to break us open to start making these changes, to being tempered into what's next here. But we have to be willing to move from that pain, okay? Huge shout out to my channel members. If you guys are interested in becoming a member yourself, there's a link in the description of this video. There's also a join button next to the subscribe button. You can check out the three tiers I have available currently. And if you're looking for personal readings, there's a link in the description of this video. You can check out my website. Six of Cups here at the bottom. So hopes, hopes and dreams here. Six of Cups is <clears throat> uh, nostalgia, fond memories. I feel like there has been some pain for a while with that Ten of Swords being at the split and the Wheel of Life is standing out as I pulled this off too. There have been some major changes going on. Things that are out of your control as far as what's happening outside of you. What is being asked to catch up right now <clears throat> those rabbits running around the wheel, you're being asked to catch up here, um, is your interior response to the pain that's been going on around you to let that elevate you rather than um, like the karmic transformation, rather than let it create more karma for you, more negative karma. <clears throat> so you guys are hoping for some good times, for some happy memories again. Things have maybe been a little shit for a second. <laughs> uh, I want, you want to do... 
Lightseer's Tarot, okay? So for Virgo, Spirit, additional messages for Virgo here. Um, The Fool here, I did flip it before I split it. The Fool here at the split. So some apprehension towards starting a new journey, having faith in the journey. Maybe this Ten of Swords moment has beaten the faith out of you. I know that's something that I've struggled with a lot recently too, you guys. I'm definitely human. <laughs> I, I experience these things too. Um, this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. You are very intelligent, so please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest behind. So the Empress here at the bottom. Mm, this is your fear aversion. So with the Empress, we're looking at uh, Divine Feminine is standing out with this. I'm getting uh, your ability to receive, okay? Whether this is healing, intuitive hits, um, taking time to rest. There is a fear aversion to the Divine Feminine quality here. Somebody may be struggling with a mother, mother figure. Um, it feels more like whatever this painful ending was, betrayal, rock bottoms with the Ten of Swords can represent. It's caused you to feel maybe a little bit jaded towards opening up to the bounty that the universe has to provide you. Okay, let's get a little further into this. So, general, for your main message here, Knight of Swords to start. <clears throat> feeling a little frozen to act. So this is putting thought into action, moving very quickly. Um, mm, that's interesting too. With the, the Empress coming through there. <clears throat> Excuse me, one second, I need some water. <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat. Witches need water, right? <laughs> So um, with the Empress coming through, like I was saying, I feel like there is a fear of slowing down. Like if you stop moving, then something catches up to you. This Ten of Swords moment, you may have to process through something or feel something. And I feel like that's the point of all of this. Pre like the pressure is continuing to build here because... Source, universe, God, you, your higher self wants you to experience this healing that's available from the Ten of Swords, first of all, and the blessing that's available as a result, whatever this double-ended axe is. But you're nervous to slow down, to feel that, to go into receiving mode. King of Swords here in reverse. Yeah, that's exactly it. Frozen heart here, okay? King of Swords in reverse. No attachment to the heart whatsoever. Only only intellect. And Virgo, you know, we is smart, right? <laughs> uh, both Gemini, I'm Gemini Sun, Virgo rising, Virgo moon. There's a lot of Mercury. Different components of Mercury with the signs there. But both Gemini and Virgo, very intelligent. Very, very intelligent. Very Virgo, Gemini kind of energy here too that air energy. Um, there is a need to turn the heart back on here. I do feel like you've been running on intellect logic only for quite some time. Like I'm back to the box here. I'm being brought back to the box here. So something regimented, uh, a system on something, these can be very helpful to have schedules and that sort of thing. It can also move over into a shadow aspect, especially Virgo. Virgo's shadow is, is very much about this. We can get um, we can get too picky of an eye on the details, okay? We're good at picking up the details and there is benefit in that. This is a situation where it's feeling like that superpower of being able to pick up on details is turning into a curse. And it's keeping you stuck. There's a need to turn the heart back on here. There's a lot of swords, a lot of air energy coming through. Um, anything else here on this, please? Spirit. In the general. Self-awareness. Tapping into your higher self. Questioning routines and patterns. Exactly what I just said there. <clears throat> There's something about structure, routines, 
a plan that you have been following that has become too strict. It's become too uh, restrictive. There's a need to break out of this box, okay? Okay. All right. So four of pentacles here. This is your good stuff to start. So we are definitely talking about what allows you to feel safe and secure. This can be an overclinging to those things that allow us to feel safe and secure. Money, home, food, French relationships, you know, connections with others. Being in the good stuff here, I see that this is a time where you're, you will be releasing the grip a little bit. Whatever has become too structured or too regimented, too strict, there is a loosening up that is happening, okay? You are being, I'm seeing like being tickled here. You're being encouraged to loosen up. Ultimately, you're the only one who can make that decision, right? Nothing can force you into doing any of that. But this is being supported right now to come into a better balance where you do actually feel safe and secure rather than being on high alert and trying to assimilate those things um, moment by moment or focusing on it moment by moment. <laughs> Knight of Swords comes through here to clarify the Four of Pentacles. Because we have that in the general to start, I, I same sort of thing, putting thoughts into actions, just running towards our goals very quickly. With the energy of the Four of Pentacles there coming into balance, this action now, putting that thought into action form, is coming from a much more balanced place. I feel like this balancing of the Four of Pentacles is bringing the King of Swords here into the upright. It's adding some heart back into the situation here. So there's less fear. I just feel like there's a lot of fear that's happening in the pursuit right now. And fear is never going to fully disappear. But if we're making every decision from a place of fear, we're going to have a bad time, right? It just mucks things up, okay? Um, I do feel like anything else here on the good stuff here. Divine counterpart. Ooh. A divine connection sent to you from your angels. So this is standing out here, the crow at the top, the crow is leading this individual here to where they need to go, to their goals here. This motorcycle is their goal. The divine counterpart, I do feel is, um, what's coming through are like messages through nature, because you did have nature come through here too, and with the, e the eagle. Uh, for some of you, it could be, it could be a romantic relationship, divine counterpart coming through, but this feels more like a guide or guardian coming through in the form of nature in some way. Maybe it's a pet that you have, getting a new pet. Maybe you're into birds. Eye to the sky. Pay attention when you're outside, okay? And get yourself out into nature. That feels like something that is very, always very important. But especially right now, you need that extra balancing energy, okay? So what you don't see coming, what's in the dark right now? Five of Cups. So being what's in the dark, I feel like this is the driving force to staying stuck in that Ten of Swords energy. Five of Cups is disappointment. And arguably, Five of Cups, to me, I feel it is the most negative card in the deck. This disappointment can take root. This can eat us alive. And it does. There's a need for us to turn away from what has felt disappointing. So this could be the box for some of you. You've placed your experience inside of a box where you're, um, what I'm seeing is like a relationship as an example, okay? A major relationship coming to an end, romantic specifically, but it could be anything here. That coming to an end. And with the very specific eye that Virgo has, that we have, right? I know, I can speak from experience. Um, it's happened in relationships to me in the past too. We can get stuck on either trying to pay attention to an ex or just going back and reliving these moments over and over and over again, not allowing ourselves to move forward. That's totally Five of Cups energy. Those three cups have spilled in front of us, but what it contained is not something that we had a taste for anymore anyway. The two cups behind us have life inside of them. We have to turn to them 
if I mean, if you want, if you want to have any sort of quality of life, if you want to enjoy what's going on here, feel free. If that's the choice you want to make to continue to focus on what is disappointing. But this needs to be released is what this is saying. If you need to share this with somebody that can shoulder a burden with you to help you process this, a counselor, go for it. This doesn't mean you have to hold it inside or push it away, but it needs to be moved. I'm brought back to nature here with walking. Start moving that energy intentionally too. As you go on walks, set the intention before you start. My intention here is to move this energy through, whether you know what it is specifically or not, okay? Ask for help from your, from your angels, from your guides, because they're there. They're guiding you. Ooh, two of cups, you guys. Hmm. Ooh. So maybe there, I think for some of you, there is a divine counterpart that's available romantically. Two of cups comes through what well, you don't see coming. It's in the dark. This is connection, you guys. Whether it is friendship, romantic relationship, buddy at work, a uh, new pet, you know, it's connection. It's the beginning of a connection here. This deck in particular, though, with them holding hands, the way they describe it is divine love through this connection is coming down between the two and filling both vessels. So it does feel like there is a need to work in connection with others. Like I was saying, if you have a friendship support system where you can lean on them. And this, as an example, the way to present that is, hey, do you have space to hold for me? Are you in a place where I can talk about X, Y, Z? You know what I mean? Um, let's start getting in the habit of doing that, okay? <laughs> Allowing people respect in that way instead of just dumping on people because we deserve help and everybody else are also going through shit. Sometimes they're able to help and sometimes they're not. Communication, it's so important. Um, I feel... Yeah, we'll do one, one of these two. Anything else here on what's in the dark? But yeah, for some of you, I feel like this could be a divine counterpart that's coming forward. Not to heal the situation, but like to show you a, a new opportunity, a different choice to make. You could continue to be in this dark place, whatever that Ten of Swords is. Or you could see the possibility of making new connections. Retreat, time spent alone, reflection on past and current situations is what came through here. Um, <clears throat> I feel like that's, as I was saying, this is, there's this, what am I trying to say? Mulling out, like you're spinning on the same happenstance, whatever happened here, you're going back and you're spinning on that situation. There's too much time spent alone here. <laughs> Um, too much reflection on past and current situations. I'm brought back to walking through nature here. There's a need to move, to move that energy. Like that is stagnant energy. It's becoming toxic to your experience here. Okay. So your obstacle at this time, 10 of pentacles. <laughs> I do feel like connection, you guys, is kind of, kind of what's, difficult right now or what is difficult right now this is your ultimate material and spiritual abundance connecting with your community in a way um could have something to do with building and leaving a legacy i feel like this is maybe for some of you this is what came crashing down with that ten of swords went from ten of pentacles to ten of swords is kind of what i'm getting you're with somebody you felt like their tails are intertwined this is something you would always have there and yet, here we are, right? The difficult thing about this is allowing it to be, allowing it to go so that you can find it again. I do feel like some of you are feeling lost in your, in your mission here. Like, what is my legacy? What is the legacy I'm working to build or leave? And Queen of Swords in reverse here too. So you have both the King and Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, as far as couples go and when, when the king and queen show up in various suits, king and queen of swords, not, it's just not the best representation of like the warmest relationship. Okay. Uh, both of these, especially being in reverse, this is, um, snow bitch, <laughs> ice queen. The heart is frozen. 
There is a complete disconnect from the heart with both of these coming through. And with her being in the difficulty, that's that's pointing, that's exactly the problem, okay? There is a need to step away from this retreat, okay? Time spent alone and the disappointment because it's just breeding more disappointment. You're being requested to put yourself out there in, in making new connections or reviving old ones or um, pouring more love into existing relationships. If you want to receive more love, it's time to start putting more of it out there, right? There's a need to turn the heart back on, to see the truth too. I, I feel like there's this energy surrounding this of refusal to see. That you are refusing to see, that you're stuck in a box, that there is a need to approach something in a different way from the heart and not the head, okay? So last piece of advice here surrounding difficulty. No. Okay, no. For Virgo. For my Virgo friends. Success, it's your time to shine. Success from what you put your heart into. Did a stutter? Nope. Uh, your heart, you guys. So this is about leading life through the heart. Not that we're shutting the head down. We need more heart, okay? It's been it's been up here too long. Two Eight of Swords energy happening. Um, oh, you want one of these? Okay. So I'm going to pull a Starseed Oracle here to close this out. And then I'm going to move into an Extended... In the extended, we do go over direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice. And then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. So last message here for Virgo. Mm. Do you want? You want all of these. Okay. Okay. You got three. Well, and Orca Elder, share your song, Frequency of Sound, Diving Deep. <clears throat> so this is about diving deep, okay? It does feel like there's some emotions connecting back into the heart that needs to happen here. Finding the frequency that is best for you and best, the highest good of all. The song you were intended to sing, being here. Healing. Way to the world. Boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. Let it go. It's time to move past whatever this is that is toxifying from the past. And I'm not being dismissive around trauma. There are ways to heal trauma as well. So it may not be a switch, depending on where you are in this process of healing. If you're at the beginning where you're realizing you need to make a plan to start doing something different, you got this. If you're well on your way to the healing journey, you got this, okay? And if you're coming out the other side of it, you got this, you guys, you got this. The Seven Star Sisters, Birthing Creations, Tapestry of Light, and Expression. I'm feeling like art through movement. There's something about like walks in nature is what's coming coming through to me. Um, to walk through nature as if you were a child again. Hmm. Skip, spin around, I don't know, pick up rocks. <laughs> Investigate the sticks you come across. Cool. All right, Virgo, I love you guys so much. If this is where I leave you, thank you for joining me. Like I said, moving into extended. If you're interested in that, I do have links in the description of this video. They are for sale individual, as well as on the third tier of membership, you'll have access to all of them if you're interested in that. Um, please, if this reading did resonate with you, consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, hit that notification bell, all great ways to support me and the growth of this channel. And I truly appreciate it, you guys. If this reading did resonate with you as well, and you feel called to tip or donate, I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description too. To those who do support the channel in this way, thank you guys so, so much. It goes a long way. All right, Virgo, please take care of yourself. And I hope this was helpful. I'll see you all very soon. Be well.